Today we will perform bold pretension analysis using hypermesh and optistruct. This topic is simple yet very important in the finite element modeling of bolted joints. We will create a 1D bolt using RBE3 and beam elements and apply a pretension force on it. The resulting stress and deformation plots will be visualized during post processing. Let's get right into it. The link for the CAD model used in this video is provided in the description. Feel free to download the CAD and follow this video step by step to understand the bolt pretension setup process. The first step is to assign a material and property to the component. Let's take a look at how this is done. Once the geometry is imported in Hypermesh, one component is visible in the model browser. Let's start by creating a new material. Give a name to it. We will enter the mechanical properties of aluminum. For this analysis, we are using the unit system Newton, Millimeter, Ton, Second. Create a new property and provide a name to it. With card image as P shell, select the aluminum material in material selection box. Let's use thickness value as 2 mm. Now we will assign this shell property to the mount component. The material gets assigned automatically. To create a good mesh flow, we will perform some geometry editing. Open the quick edit tab from geometry panel. Set the washer split offset value to 5. Now select the circular edge to create a washer split. Do the same for second location. Now we will use the split surface line option. Select this point and split the surface till this line. We will repeat the same steps on other side. Once the geometry editing is done, exit the quick edit panel. Now open the automesh tab from 2D panel. With entity selector on surfaces, select all the surfaces in the component. Enter element size as 1. With all other settings as default, create the mesh. As the mesh quality is satisfactory, we can now exit the auto mesh tab. We can hide the geometry as it is no longer required. Create a new component to store RBE3 elements. Open the RBE3 tab from 1D panel. Switch independent node to free edges. With all 6 degrees of freedom checked, select the circular edge. Create the RBE3 element. Similarly, create another element at the second circular edge. These elements will be used to specify the bolt location. Create a new component to store 1D beam elements for the bolt. Let's create a new material for this bolt. With card image as mat1, we will enter the default mechanical properties of steel. Now create a new property for the 1D bolt. As we will be creating the bolt with 1D beam elements, Change the property card image to P beam L. Select the steel material in material selection box. Right click on beam section and click on create edit.
we will use the standard configuration and section type as rod. Let's enter the bolt radius value as 6 mm. Close the beam section editor. Now open the bars tab from 1D panel. In the property selector, select the PBeamL property we created in the previous step. The orientation can be any direction which is not parallel to the bolt axis. As our bolt will have its axis along Y direction, let's set the orientation to X axis. Now select the RBE3 center node as node A. Select the second center node as node B. The beam element is automatically created. We can use the 1D detailed visualization option to check if the beam section is correctly assigned to the bolt beam. As you can see, the bolt has been defined as required. We can now start creating the pretension for this bolt. Create a new load collector to store single point constraints. Open the constraints tab from analysis panel. Switch the entity selector to free edges. We will select these weld edges and constrain them for all degrees of freedom. To create the bolt pretension, we will use the pretension manager. Open the pretension manager from tool menu. Let's add a new 1D bolt. Select the bolt beam element in selector box and click on proceed. Set the load type as force. We will create a new load collector to store this pretension force. Enter load magnitude as 500 Newton. Apply the pretension force and exit the pretension manager. As you can see, the pretension has been applied to the beam bolt. To couple the applied loads and constraints, create a new load step. Change the analysis type to linear static. Select the SPC load collector in SPC field. Select the pretension load collector in pretension field. The analysis setup is now complete. Let's save the model in a separate folder. Make sure to use underscore in place of space while entering all file names to avoid any errors during the analysis run. Open the Optistruct tab from Analysis panel. Set Export options to All and Run options to Analysis. Click on Optistruct to launch the solver. Once the analysis is complete, we can view the results in Hyperview. We will now visualize the stress and deformation contours produced due to bolt pretension. Open the contour tab and apply the displacement results. We can adjust the speed of the animation using the bottom slider. Play the animation. The deformation of the mount due to bolt pretension force is clearly visible. Let's view the stress results. Set averaging method to simple and apply the stress results. A maximum stress value of 474 MPa is observed. We can also view the stresses produced in 1D elements. We have successfully modeled a bolt using 1D beam elements and applied pretension force to it. And this is how we can perform bolt pretension analysis using Hypermesh and Optistruct. If you like this video, 
please hit the red subscribe button and give a thumbs up it helps a lot make sure to follow me on social media to stay updated about latest video content thanks for watching